Hi there, Robin here from Expert On, and today we are going to be talking about phono preamps. Now, what is a phono preamp? Well, if you're watching this video, this is what you need. If you've got an older turntable and a newer stereo, or you plan on hooking up an older turntable to anything else uh, that you've bought in the last 15 years, you're going to probably need a phono preamp. What's happening right now is that you plug your turntable into whatever it is you have, your stereo, or your speaker, or your home system, and you're getting no volume out of it. You turn up three quarters of the way and you start hearing it. Well, that is because they don't put phono preamps in systems anymore. They cut that out just a little over the year 2000. They started trimming it out of systems. So, Pile, very savvy little company, figured we'll take what they don't use anymore and we'll put it inside of here. Now, for a lot of years, there were no turntables and these things just kind of did nothing. But everybody wants their record player back. So everybody now needs, if it's an old turntable with a new stereo, one of these guys. Now I will say that if you're going out and buying a new turntable, most likely it will have one of these guys built into it now. They basically move the technology from your home receiver or stereo system to the actual turntable. Uh, so if it's a new turntable, and you're not getting any volume out of it, look for a switch. It's probably there on it somewhere or call whoever you bought that system from. But now to hook up one of these guys, it's pretty simple stuff. Your turntable will have a set of RCA cables on it. RCA cables are the red and white cables that came with the system. Uh, instead of plugging them into your stereo or whatever else you wanna plug it into, you're gonna plug it into a preamp. Uh, the preamp has an input and an output. So you're gonna plug in from your turntable here and then out so you're going to need an extra set of RCA cables to do this plug out here and plug it into your home stereo or whatever other equipment you want to plug it into amazingly enough people can get creative if you have a TV that has audio inputs and you want to use your TV as long as it has RCA inputs on it somewhere you can do that your if you have a PA speaker a party speaker whatever it is you can use that too now, uh, people ask about the quality because they're all reasonably priced stuff. It's like, well, all they did is the stuff the manufacturers stopped using 15, 20 years ago, they put into a box a long time ago and started selling it as a product all on its own. They knew this was coming. Uh, and then they made different versions of the original product. Now, this is the most popular one on Google. So it's called a PP444. If you type in phono preamp, you'll see this guy come up first. And the reason why it's the most popular one is because of the original one. That's the way Google likes things. So they find thousands and thousands of reviews on it. There you go. That's the unit right there. Now, Pile turned around and came out with another model called the 999, then another model called the 555. Now, the original model had a quarter inch output on it as well as the RCAs and a grounding connection. So if you have a, a dual style format turntable, you don't need to know what that means. All you need to know is that there's a little ground wire, a little wire in between the RCA cables. Then you're going, well, what's that for? Well, that's a grounding that stops it from humming. Sometimes you plug it in until you get a buzzing sound. That'll create a common ground between your turntable and the system. The most important thing is that's why they give you this little screw here. So you take that little wire, you wrap around here, tighten that down a little bit, and that noise will go away. Don't forget to plug it in with the AC adapter that comes included. Yeah, back to the differences. So now comes the important part. 444, the original one. It has a quarter inch jack, so if you're hooking up to a mixing board or something like that, that'll be a handy feature for you. If you're hooking up to a home stereo or to any other equipment, you're probably just going to use RCA jacks. Even if you're going to be using an RCA jack like this, which is I have you know a little speaker and I want to play it through there and all it has is an auxiliary input jack, boom. Plug that into here, plug that into your auxiliary jack, and it will work. Uh, the original cables were RCA, but like I said, cables are sold separately, so you got to pick those up. That's what you're going to get here. Then they came out with the, four, with the 999. I don't know if it came out at the same time or if it came out shortly thereafter, but the 999, slightly smaller box, second most popular unit. Now, the 999 is better suited for somebody for a home system where we're not going to be cranking up the lawn. The difference between these two are two things. One, they took away the quarter inch jack, so this one doesn't have that anymore. So this is really a, a home stereo setup. Uh, and they also included a uh, low-pass noise filter in it. 
to try and clean up the sound a little bit, that humming, buzzing, little rolling bottom end, and that's an added feature they put onto this guy. So for low volume play, this one will sound better than this one. Prices are about the same, so people always you know, want to know the differences. Better for a home system, better if I'm using it on a mixing board. So, and there you go, RCA inputs again, you got RCA in, that's the turntable side, RCA out, that's gonna go to our stereo side on this side here, and it still has the grounding screw located right here on the side of it. So there we go, 444, oops, sorry about that, 999. Now, the third one, third one's called the PP555. Portable DJ, again, they all came out at roughly around the same time. Now, so if you're on the road, and you need to have something that you you don't want to bother having to worry about another AC adapter for. This runs also on a nine volt battery. So that's kind of cool. So you got a nine volt battery dropping option. You get an on off switch also, the same switch toggles between battery power and AC power. So that allows you to do that for you there. Uh, if you're plugging it in, just leave it on the, uh, the DC 12 volt adapter side and just leave it on, you never have to touch it again. Uh, it also offers the quarter inch jack like we saw in the 444 and it also offers the low pass noise filter that we saw in the 999. So you take the features of both of these units and add a battery option. So there you go. So this one does cost a little bit more. These two are usually roughly around the same price. That's your choice. And then this one here. And again, it doesn't make it a better unit. It makes it just different. Okay. So there we go. We've covered it. We've got the 444, the 999 and the 555 so the three most popular models all from pile number one sellers on amazon or our website pretty much everywhere you go uh, are there better ones absolutely um, but remember this is exactly the same technology that would have been built into the systems back in the day when those turntables were being made that you're using them for so it's up to you if you want to get better if you're buying a, a modern day turntable it'll most likely have one built in so it's up to you on how much money you want to spend these are the most popular ones because usually you're taking your parents' turntable or you found it at the flea market, you did something like that, you got something for free and you're really just trying to have some fun and you want to enjoy some older records. If you're playing some new stuff, you probably are going to buy a new turntable anyway, so who cares? Anyways, my name's Robin. You've been listening to Expert Island. Um, these are all, you'll find all the links for all these items down below, including links to our website. If you liked it and this helped out, leave us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And if you have, thank you very much. Talk to you soon. Bye now.